All right, guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day here in the end times, closing in on the end of July 2021. It is now Saturday afternoon, July 30th, 2021, and I have been out uh, spending this absolutely gorgeous day doing some long overdue weeding on the garden and I thought I would anyone who wants to come along you know I like to keep track of <coughs> making my video record of my garden uh, so uh, what I'm dealing with this today like so many other gardeners apparently up here is uh, noticed a long article in the mainstream media today about all of this leaf rot going on on uh, going on where we've been getting all of this rain and we have had anywhere from three to five times the normal amount of rain for the finger lakes depending on who you talk to and uh so i mean it's just <coughs> the leaf rot and the leaf curl and the tomatoes and the potatoes are taking it the hardest and interestingly the apple trees are also where you know just just waterlogged and just soaking wet day in and day out taking their toll but uh apparently according to this guy he just said you know once you you know once your plants get to this point just let them go you know he says the fruit have already set and that all of this leaf stuff uh, going on will just make all of your fruit I guess that much more accessible so uh, I guess I'm not gonna worry uh, about my rotten leaves because the fruit seem fine Good Lord. Oh man, look at these maters. Now, of course, these goddamn slugs are getting into the tomatoes. Look at that, guys. These are, this is not cherry tomatoes. This is, I think this is the celebrity tomato. What do we have here? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 tomatoes right there. So it looks like another fine BLT season coming up in a few days. Now a few of the cherry tomatoes have started to come in and I'm horrified to say that they have almost no flavor. They're just, I mean, they're plenty juicy, but they're so juicy that the juice is just watered down from all of this water but uh doesn't look like much rain in the forecast so maybe these maters will start drying out a little bit so these taters and again uh, some of these and i'm losing entire potato plants but uh you know, the, the potatoes are already in there. I absolutely love. We're going to go fishing for a potato. You just reach your hand in. Little Jack Horner. Look at that, guys. Life is good. Life is good. And uh, I probably got a thousand of these in that 25 foot row so uh, onions looking good look at those onions I, I'm not waiting you know to harvest all my onions at once uh, I'm just eating eating them as I need them and I figure I ought to have enough onions to last me right about to the time I take off out of here the okra plants finally kicking in going into August and uh, good lord I planted these things in 
I think on June the 10th I planted these okra plants. I'm not sure we're going to get an okra crop in. So my little uh, little uh, pepper plants that I saved out of the, you know, these were totally hidden under my tomatoes. So when was it? Maybe a week or two ago I rescued my uh, pepper plants out from underneath those killer tomato plants. They seem to be rebounding pretty well. Uh, I'm looking at maybe 30 or 40 peppers, but next year I am not, I'm going to plant tomatoes in their own beds. I'm not going to try to mix in my tomatoes and my peppers. I'm just going to put a line of tomato plants right down the middle. Now my Again, my cantaloupe plants, my ambrosia cantaloupe plants, and my biggest disappointment of the garden, uh, I think eight of them survived, and it's going into August, and they're just now going into bloom. I am glad to see I do have one ambrosia cantaloupe on the way. The squash, good lord the bumper crop of squash we have had. Good Lord, just, uh, I don't know why I planted as many squash as I did. We are, I have found the trick to uh, squash is, is to slice it and I put it in tempura batter and bread crumbs. Uh, you know, slice it in quarter inch rounds uh, put tempura batter and beer crumbs on it and some of that Creole seasoning and just uh, pan fry it in olive oil till they're a toasty golden brown and I've been dipping the squash in, uh, and then dipping it in uh, bacon, onion, ranch dressing, bacon sweet onion ranch dressing makes a tasty treat. All right, the climbing, climbing, climbing pole beans. The tunnel of pole beans is finally eight feet tall. I'm thrilled to announce that the, uh, that the Japanese beetles seem to have lost their taste for my pole beans. So we're finally getting the soon to be beans going into August we're finally going to start getting our pole bean crop good lord it's going to be about 300,000 let's go ahead and take a look at our silver queen corn our 10 foot tall corn Good Lord, and there it is, guys, on its way, the, the ears of Silver Queen, I see the, uh, the corn silk coming out, and then the tassels are the males, so uh, what we're doing is having some corn sex here. So these are wind pollinated, so the, uh, you know, the wind comes through, and, uh, shakes the tassels and then the what would that be the pollen or the corn sperm as it were falls from the boy down onto the girl boys and girls will always find a way to get together and I'm hoping uh, at least a thousand years of organic homegrown silver queen corn coming out of this corn field Man, look at that tunnel of, look at that tunnel of pole beans. All right, I am thrilled to say that the cucumbers have finally kicked in. Uh, it's been a while. Now that the cucumbers are here, I guess they're here with a vengeance. 
I don't know how many. I think I'll whack some of them uh, during the weeding. See, we have bumblebees on the cucumber. Never seen a honeybee this whole year. Good Lord, look at this, guys. This is one cucumber plant. One, two, three, four, five, seven cucumbers. Seven cucumbers on that in about one foot of that plant. I'm looking at about 200 cucumber flowers. Now a couple of my cucumber vines I noticed and they I have no idea what is causing this. They're not broken. Uh, a couple of my cucumber vines the leaves are doing this just wilting and dying. I have no idea what that is. If anybody has any idea why the what this is all about let me know although there's no shortage of cucumbers in this garden uh, I have enough cucumbers to feed half the city of Ithaca New York good lord <clears throat> broccoli it's been fair to Midland I see my spinach is bolting take a look at these uh, collard greens. I need to go buy some of uh, those smoked ham hocks for these collard greens just to give you an idea how big these leaves are. Uh, I went to buy some ham hocks at least in the store in Vermont. Two smoked ham hocks $12.50. I actually had some carrots. I don't believe it that I think I got six carrots out of a pack of seeds. And once again, I have planted about 100 heads of lettuce all coming in at once. So uh, anybody who needs some homegrown organic garden fresh lettuce, uh, <laughs> come see us at Bugs in a Jar. And then I almost forgot about my my uh, asparagus plants. Glad to see the asparagus plants. I had forgotten about them. But all in all, it looks like the harvest will soon the harvest will soon begin in earnest. But uh, this is the main harvest I am looking forward to is the silver queen corn. And Lord, look at that. It's going to be good eating at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So if anybody wants to come get some good eating, some corn and maters and beans and taters, show up here in about two weeks and you will be well fed for the end times. All right, I'm going to call it a day in the garden and uh, see if I can find some live music and a cold drink in this town before the next lockdown begins. I highly suggest you get out there in your garden while well, you still can. Bye, guys. Are you ready to go, little lug? I gotta go back in. I'm very thirsty. Mmm. Look at this gorgeous day.